Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm picking up where I left off last vlog. It is now Thursday, November 11th. And I figured out a way to start cutting things out even though I don't have the patterns yet. I got my patterns digitized by a pattern maker and she sent them out to me and I sent them out to get printed but they haven't gotten here yet so I haven't been able to start production because of that. But when she was sending them out for me to test out, she sent them in like US letter size format so that I could like print them at home and then tape them all together and see them that way and then for the final ones I was like hey can you give them to me in like a zero size so that I can get them printed on large paper and I don't have to like go through the process of like cutting and taping and all the things and it looks nicer so majority of them she sent in the a zero size once they were finalized but there was the first one that she did that she sent in that first format before I asked her to do that in a zero so I remembered that I have those in all the sizes and it is for the Adelaide dress so I can at least get those out of the way. There's one that I want to get out of the way first and that is the Emerald Adelaide dress because that one sold out first and I want to cut it out so that I can see if I have enough for a restock of maybe one more of it because I know people are waiting for that announcement and then after that I want to go ahead and cut out the rest of them and see how much I can make so I can kind of start getting an idea of what the restock date is going to be and what it's going to look like. I also don't think the restock is going to be like huge because I don't think I have that much much quantity of fabric to make too much more after this so we'll see but yeah I just wanted to start kind of prepping that out so I'm glad that I figured that out I have it all printed out here for that size of the emerald dress so that I can at least get that situated and what else and I'm also remembering that because it is Thanksgiving and it is Black Friday and all the things probably time for a holiday giveaway from me I feel like I haven't done a giveaway since probably last Thanksgiving like last Black Friday, I did a holiday giveaway and I gave away, I think a $50 gift card. So I think I'm probably gonna do the same thing again. So I'm trying to figure out what post I'm gonna do for that and try to figure out all the rules and guidelines that I'm gonna do for it. So if you wanna join in on it, go ahead and check out my Instagram and you can join on there. I'm sure I'll have the post up by the time this video goes up. So those are my updates right now. I also have my seamstress coming in today at one. So we'll get ahead on making the tops for the pop-up shops in Austin that I'm doing, Austin, Texas. So I need to get those out of the way. I have a good amount of them cut out that I cut out um, in the last vlog, but I have another batch that I want to cut out. And then also she has the sweatshirts that were up for pre-order before I left for Spain. So we need to finish those up, get those embroidered, and I can get those sent out, which is exciting. But I want to fix the pattern a little bit on some of them. So I told her not to fully finish because I don't love how the neck is sitting. I think it's still a little too loose. So I want to tighten the neck a little bit more and make it more like like a nicer turtleneck type like I still want it to be a loose turtleneck but right now it's like too loose that it like flops down a bit so I want to make sure it like sits right so I told her to wait on it and we'll cut them down and then finish them so we'll get that out of the way I also have like three orders of pre-made stuff that I need to send out that I keep forgetting that I have so I just printed out all the shipping labels for those and we'll get those packaged up and sent out today as well but yeah lots of things going on I feel like I'm finally starting to get into some sort of more productive groove because the past couple of days have just not been productive because I didn't know what to do with myself. So that's that. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. So um, let's just get into all of this. So I've been sitting here editing the video that's going up this Saturday. I got the pattern printed out and ready to be cut out, but I'm probably gonna cut it out later once I have my seamstress Starry here. She is great. You guys should go check her out on Instagram. She was recently in, well recently, like a couple months ago in Indiana Fashion Week, which is really cool and I didn't even know that existed until she told me about it, but super cool. She has her own designs too and stuff and if you wanna check her out, you should 
Shud. This is her page. She's great. She's wonderful. The only other like fashion designer I've met out here in Indiana. So really nice. But anyway, I think I'm going to cut stuff out once she's here. But I want to get set up here because I have a podcast I'm filming, which I'm also super excited about. I've been saying this with every single one, but genuinely I've enjoyed recording these podcasts so, so much. Not even for like business reasons or whatever. Like I just genuinely enjoy talking to different people about like fashion and about things that I do because I don't get to talk to people that understand what I do ever because nobody here does that or gets it. So it's really, really cool for me to be able to connect with people that understand what I do and just like everything that goes with it. So for today's episode that I'm recording, which is probably gonna come out in two weeks, maybe in a week by the time you're watching this, it's gonna be with Sabrina, who is the owner of Wasil Clothing. I found her on TikTok maybe a couple months ago and she had apparently already been following me and she's ordered from me before. And I literally didn't even know, but she has a made to order fashion brand as well. And it's heavily focused on being size inclusive, which I think is really cool and something I really wanna touch on for this episode because it's not something I've really touched on too much with all my other guests yet. So I'm really excited to talk to her about that and just like all the things surrounding like being a made to order brand. She's also self-taught. So I really want to go into that because I know a lot of you always ask me about fashion school, whether it's necessary, whether you can be self-taught, all the things. So she's self-taught and she has a, I would say successful brand. So I'm very excited to kind of talk to her about those subjects and stuff. And if you guys haven't checked out my podcast yet, you totally should because I've had really great conversations with all the guests. I'm like just so content with everything. I've really enjoyed it all so, so much. So check it out. It's Unfiltered Fashion Talks. So you can watch the videos on YouTube or you can listen to them on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or whatever you listen to. So yeah, links are down below for that. But I'm going to set this up real quick and then it's like 11.45ish or 11.50 at this point. So then I'll have lunch and kind of get myself ready for when Starry comes. So yeah, let's set up. So I got dressed and had lunch and now I'm just waiting for Starry to get here so that I can get her kind of started on the Adele tops and stuff. And then I will have my podcast recording at two. So it's like 1.15 right now. So I have like 45 minutes. I'm all set up back there. But yeah, I'm excited to finally feel like I'm getting work done because it's been a long week. <laughs> everybody it is about 5 20 right now and starry just left we got ahead on quite a few things obviously still got a whole lot more to do but she's coming back on monday and i'm very excited because some of my patterns came in while she was here we saw the package come in she was like there's a really long package that just showed up and i think it might be your patterns and i was like it is so very excited. We'll go downstairs and open those in a minute. I also got a couple other boxes that I want to open on camera. So we'll head down there in a hot minute, but it feels so good to be like back in the studio and like actually working. Like I really haven't done that just yet since coming back home. So I just feels really good. Feels very like at home. I feel very like, I don't know, just at peace with that. And I really, really just got reminded that I really do love what I do. And it's very nice to kind of be back in that group of things. So very excited about that. I've been going through the sweatshirts that she finished and I actually had told her like, I think we're gonna redo the neck on all of them because I want them to be a little bit tighter because I patterned them a little too loose. So I've been undoing the ones that she had already done because it was my fault anyway. I wasn't gonna make her unstitch it and like do it at home because I wasn't sure how much I wanted to cut off yet. So I've been doing that so that I can finish up these sweatshirts and hopefully get them out by tomorrow to everybody who ordered them pre-order anyway. So excited about that. And yeah, let's go downstairs and open up a couple packages. So first things first, I got a package from Bang Cookies, which is very exciting because they sent this to me. I did not order it, which is always nice when you get free stuff. But they messaged me and asked me if they could send me a package of goodies. And I was like, uh, absolutely. You're 
telling me I can get free cookies? Like, I would never say no to that. So cute, the little package says, smile, you just got cookies. So it says you can freeze the cookies for up to three months, and if you wanna warm them up, you can put them in the oven at 350 degrees for three to five minutes, or microwave them for 20 to 30 seconds. I love a good warm cookie, so I'm glad that they said that. But I'm excited, got some cute little stickers. Oh my gosh, so we have all of these. Let me give you a rundown. So we have triple chocolate, sea salt chocolate chunk. Oh, you're kidding. That is like my favorite thing ever. I got a macadamia white chocolate chunk, oatmeal raisin. I'm gonna be honest, not a fan of raisins and cookies, but you know what? We will still try it. And then we have caramel sea salt chocolate and oh, we have a s'mores one. That sounds in Incredible. I am so excited to try all these. I'm gonna be honest, I usually don't eat gluten because it doesn't sit right with me, but I do like to cheat every once in a while and still eat some so that my system doesn't completely block it out. So I'm very excited about these. Oh my gosh, so fun. I'm gonna put these in here just to take a cute little aesthetic picture. Anyway, if you wanna check them out, you can go to bangcookies.com. They're all like organic homemade and stuff like that. So they are obviously not so like, healthy because it's a freaking cookie, but but as far as like clean, it is a lot cleaner than buying like, you know, store bought or whatever, but okay. I'm going to put this on my stories. This is the life of a somebody who's not necessarily an influencer, but <laughs> is somehow a content creator and doesn't really know what she's doing. So here we are. Anyway, side note, this is a super smart marketing tool for them because they didn't ask me to post anything or anything like that. They were just like, hey, we wanna send you cookies. Like, do you want some? And I was like, yeah. But obviously a lot of people, when they do receive free things, they wanna post about them. So super smart marketing on their part because it's basically free for them. They just have to send their product and majority of people are probably gonna post anyway, like I just did because I'm excited and it looks great and I think they have a good product that's worth posting about. Granted, have I tasted these yet? No, but they look wonderful and I'm excited to taste them and I don't think you can go wrong with cookies. So there's that. Next, we've got Imperfect Foods. It's a food delivery service that sends you stuff that is excess in grocery stores or that is imperfect in some way, whether it be like an appearance thing. So it's basically just saving food from going to waste because food waste is a huge problem worldwide, especially here. So I like to get majority of my groceries from them. Obviously they don't always have everything and sometimes I need things more like on the spot and this comes once a week. So I get most of my things from them and then every once in a while if I need anything else, I'll go to the grocery store. So I will leave a link down below if you guys want to shop in Perfect Foods. It's not like an affiliate link or anything, but it's one of those that like, if I refer you to them, I get $10, you get $10, that kind of vibe. So feel free to check my link out if you want to test it out. My whole family uses it. So let me show you guys what I get usually. So I got some cookies. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be getting cookies already. So so I got some gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. These are from Tate's Bake Shop. These are literally the greatest like gluten-free cookies I've ever had. Then I got some rainbow carrot chips because I thought these would be really great in my air fryer. I got some pineapple chunks, got some spinach because I literally always have spinach in this household. I put it into literally everything and anything. Then I got some spreadable goat cheese, country herb and garlic. Um, well, they sent me milk, but I did not order milk. I don't know if I may have accidentally checked it off or if it was one of those things that was already on there that I forgot to take off of the list, but we have milk. I guess I'll drink it. I'm not lactose intolerant, so I can drink it, but I prefer oat milk anyway. I got these dark chocolate covered cashews, hazelnuts, and almonds. I got some tofu. I'm not necessarily vegetarian, but I like to try to eat mostly vegetarian at home. I feel like I've said that a lot of times, but you know, just gonna clarify that. I'm not vegetarian, but I do eat a lot of vegetarian meals. I also got some plant-based chicken because again, trying to be as vegetarian as I can at home in my own space. So I got some of that to try out. I haven't tried it out, mostly because a lot of the vegan meats tend to have gluten in them and I'm gluten intolerant, so I don't like to have those. So I'm very picky about which ones I can eat. And this one does not have gluten in it, so I'm very excited about that. Then I got a Pad Thai stir fry kit, which honestly, I just like the noodles in this I don't I've never even tasted the sauce that comes with it I literally just make my own but I just like those noodles so I got them and I got some Norwegian Atlantic salmon because I do love me some salmon I eat salmon at least like once a week honestly it's literally one of my favorite foods it's 
so good. And that is all I got. But the great thing about Imperfect Foods, this is literally not sponsored. I just really genuinely love their company, is the fact that obviously it comes just in a cardboard box and it comes inside of this little reusable kind of cooler bag. But if you leave this cooler bag outside of your like door the day that you're getting your delivery, they'll take back the other ones and reuse them. So it's basically zero waste in their packaging, which is really nice. Obviously a lot of the products that they have still have plastic on them, but that's not really a them problem. And also you're taking like excess of it that would have gone thrown out. So still really great in that aspect, but that is my little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, I'm gonna put all of this away and I'm gonna take a shower and then we will see what else we do with the rest of the night. But I kinda just need to like chill out for a hot minute. So I just made dinner and I filmed a few little clips on my phone so I might make it into like a little TikTok reel moment but just wanna show you guys because today is a treat yourself kind of night. So I made some pasta, I have a variety of different cheeses that we brought back from Spain and some wine that my dad left here that he had opened up so I'm, you know, gonna finish it. Good morning, everybody. Today is a good morning. Why? Because Taylor Swift's Red Album just got released and I am all too unwell. I have been listening to it all morning, obviously. First thing I listened to, all too well 10 minute version. Yes, we did cry right when we woke up. Love that for me. I also love the fact that I had like multiple friends text me and be like, are you okay? Like, are you unwell? Like all those things. And I was like, yes, y'all know me too well. Anyway, thought it would be a good time to break out the Taylor Swift red shirt that I have. But anyway, last night my camera decided to die right when I was like, show you guys what I was about to eat for dinner. But anyway, it was great. I also ended up having like a third of one of the bang cookies for like dessert and I warmed it up and it was so freaking good. And then I had another one this morning. 10 out of 10 would recommend. These are so freaking good. They're like the perfect, like chewy, soft, melted chocolatey vibe and 10 out of 10, so good. I'm very excited about that. Anyway, last night I ended up just editing the vlog previous to this one for tomorrow for Saturday and it's not fully done yet but you know have to do that but yeah I made a list of everything I needed to do today because I realized I have a lot of things that have piled up that I still need to do so one I need to finish editing that video two I need to finish the sweatshirt three I need to package all the pre-made orders, which I could have literally sent them out anytime this week and I haven't, so I need to do that. And then go to the post office after that. I also need to go to Joanne's for some more thread. I need to edit Sabrina's podcast that I filmed yesterday. And I need to make a black patchwork tank because I had somebody order one of the black patchwork tanks that were pre-made from the pop-up shops that I did that I've just had on my website for a hot minute. And I forgot that I sent that one out to Lexi, I'm pretty sure. So I don't have that one, like the size that they ordered, so. Oh, I need to just make one because <laughs> so I was like well should I just tell her that I don't have it and like refund her and I was like you know what I do have probably scraps for it so I can just quickly make one so I need to make that for her and get that sent out and also we have our patterns today so I need to cut out the patterns and get started on cutting out all of the items I don't want to start sewing anything until I have everything cut out because I just really want to make sure that everything's cut out and I want to see how much fabric I have left for the restock before I start sewing any of it so I just kind of want to like prep everything and then just full-on sew so those are the things I need to get done today Day, but I definitely want to start on finishing the sweatshirts and all of that so I can package everything to go to the post office and then run all the errands afterwards. So yeah, I'm gonna start with finishing up the sweatshirts. I got quite a few of the collars unstitched yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and put those back on. I think I may have one to finish up. I'm gonna do that and then reassess if there's anything else that I want to kind of change on them, then embroider them, and then we'll be good. So very excited. Let's get into it. So it is about 12-ish now, and I got three of the sweatshirts fully embroidered and done, so that is really good. I've got two more to do, so the neutral ones. I got all the black and white ones, and I also have an all black one where somebody asked me to not put the logo on it, not because they don't like me, but just because they wanted a chill sweatshirt that was like plain, so I did that. So if you ever want that too, like I don't mind doing those type of adjustments. I don't like necessarily promote it, but you can definitely ask me and I'm totally down for it. So have that all down here 
you're ready to go. I've also been putting together a little giveaway post. So I like to do a little giveaway around the holidays. I did it last year and I want to do it again this year, but I'm putting together the post and I'm going to have a couple different ways that you can win. Now that I'm saying this, I think I'm going to do a giveaway on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So I'll give away three different gift cards. So you can enter all three if you want more chances, but you can only be entered once per thing. So even if you comment a lot of times on one thing, I'm only going to put you in one time, if that makes sense. So feel free to comment down below on this video. Very excited for this. I'll be announcing the winners on my Instagram on probably Black Friday, if not like Thanksgiving Day, because I want to be able to give you guys the gift cards before my next restock. So you can use it there if you want to. And yeah, I'm super excited to be able to give back to you guys. I don't ever really do sales or too many giveaways or anything like that. And it's been a while since I've done one. So I'm very excited to be able to give back to you all. So yeah, that is one way to win. And if you want to win on Instagram, you can go to this post. And if you want to go win on TikTok, you can go to this post. So yeah, that is all I've got for now. I'm going to go ahead and have lunch and then we'll get back to finishing up embroidering and all the things. So I'm done eating lunch. I'm going to go ahead and embroider these last two sweatshirts so that I can get the rest of the things packaged up and then go to the post office and Joanne's and run my errands for the day. But I'm so content with how these are turning out. I feel so much more energized today with just being able to get a lot of work done and finally seeing things be like finished and being able to go to the post office is such a relief. Like I just feel like I'm finally making progress because I've just felt so like bleh all week with everything. So... Okay, so side note, I'm finishing up these sweatshirts. I just got the last one embroidered. And I wanted to let you guys know that this embroidery machine that I use, the Rekoma EM1010, is A, the most wonderful thing ever, but also a lot cheaper to get this month. So Rekoma is actually doing a bunch of different sales and promotions throughout the entire month of November. And you can get a lot of things like free shipping or get the software for free if you order it this month. So I definitely recommend getting it if you have been thinking about it or whatever. Like this is the best month to get it because it'll be the cheapest. They have a 0% interest payment plan that you can use. It'll be like 125 or 130 a month, which is an insanely good price for such a high quality like industrial machine basically. So I definitely recommend checking it out. You can use the link in the description down there to talk to them about it, see if it's a good fit. They have a really great team. I really love communicating with them. They're really easy to work with and they have just been super helpful. So if, even if you're just like thinking about it and you're not sure, you should definitely go ahead and check the link talk to them see what's good and yeah I totally recommend it I really love using it it's super simple to use I can literally just like leave it on while I'm doing a bunch of other things and I know that it's gonna be fine whereas like sometimes with my single needle machine that I have I wouldn't really trust it to be doing it by itself and maybe it would be fine but I don't know I didn't trust it and I was always like on top of it making sure it was fine which wastes a lot of time so this one can just run on its own you don't have to look at it it'll like beep at you if something's wrong and you'll know to come and fix it and it's literally so easy so simple love it a lot this video isn't sponsored but the greatest part about it is that you can have 10 different colors of thread constantly threaded on it so you don't always have to be switching out your thread which has literally been a lifesaver because threading machine is just really annoying so having all the threads that i usually use just on there and then you can just switch out which ones you want to use for your design is literally the greatest thing ever so definitely check it out i totally recommend it again the link will be down below they also have a bunch of other products so i'll have a different link for all the other products if you want to check them out different machines machines or different supplies and things you can get from them. They are a great company. I've really loved working with them and using their products and everything. So I definitely uh, recommend. So go check it out down in the description. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and pack up all these orders and make some TikToks with them. I think I'm going to do one like little ASMR type quick little packaging video. And then I want to do a couple time lapses and stuff and just get some good content out of it. I feel like packing videos always do really well and I always forget to do them. So let's film some. My memory card decided to fill up in the middle of my little time lapse, but I just got all of the packages ready over there. So I think I'm gonna head to the post office now before it gets too late. Although I know by the time I get home from the post office and Joanne, it's gonna be dark already, which is so annoying. Cause it's like three right now and it's probably gonna take me a good like hour and a half or two to get to both things. But anyway, I'm gonna head out now so that we can make the most of the daylight and we can listen to Taylor Swift in the car. And yeah, let's go.
Hello everybody, it is the next day. I did not end up vlogging yesterday the rest of the day. I came home and had dinner and honestly just chilled out, played piano, listened to Taylor Swift a little bit more, you know, all the things. And then I finished editing the video for today that went up. I also finished editing Sabrina's podcast, like the audio of it so I could send everything else to Kennedy. So I got a lot of work done, which wasn't really necessarily an entertaining thing to be filming, so yeah. And then this morning, I actually started filming the first episode of Vlogmas. So if you haven't been around that long, last year I decided to start doing Vlogmas, which usually lifestyle YouTubers will vlog every single day of December leading up to Christmas and upload every single day. But personally, I just like can't do that with my lifestyle, obviously, because running a brand on top of that is way too much. So I like to do three times a week. I normally have videos up twice a week, but I like to add a little extra one in December for that. So I've been actually decorating my entire house for Christmas, which is exciting because it's like the first time I've had my own place to decorate like that. So I've been filming that for the first episode of Vlogmas, so that's why I didn't vlog this morning. But now I wanna get back into work. I have some things I need to do computer-wise first, and then I wanna start cutting out my patterns, getting those situated so then I can start actually cutting out all of my orders because that is something that has obviously been in the back of my mind that I really need to do. But I need to make my thumbnail for Emily's podcast that's coming on Tuesday. And I also need to make like the graphic post for it for the Instagram. And yeah, so I need to do that like ASAP so that I don't forget and I have it all ready to go by like Monday and Tuesday of next week. A little bit later on in the day already, it's like 2 p.m. So we don't have like the entire day anymore, but that is okay, we will manage. And then tomorrow I still have all day and the next day and the next day and the next day. So let's get working. Okay, so I've got my roll of patterns now and I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, hope that everything is good and start cutting out the sizes that I need. I just went through all of the orders and wrote down the sizes that I got so that I know which ones to cut out because some of these have like three sizes onto one. So I went ahead and did that. I feel like honestly, I got a pretty wide range of sizes, but for whatever reason, a lot of size sixes. That was like kind of like my middle size that I got the most. And then honestly, the highest one I've gotten is an 18 and the smallest is a two so that's kind of the range that I've had with this collection so far even though I've like opened up my size ranges a little bit more so it's always like interesting to see which pieces uh, get like higher sizes and stuff the Irene top had a good variety of sizes I think it's just because it's an adjustable kind of back thing I think people feel a little more comfortable buying that one but the Victoria dress also had a good wide range of sizes because I just think it's like a very flattering dress for anybody really just like the bodice part of it is very flattering with like the little cowl neck and I think that the fun little flowy skirt with the slit is always a good time for anyone too so love that so just in case you were curious about what sizes I get because I feel like that's something that I randomly will get asked from time to time those are the ones I got so let's oh that opened up so nicely and smoothly anyway let's get cutting 